Welcome back people, we've got another new video for you guys here again today, some more Call of the Wild, the Angler. So we're going to show you a very good hot spot for some decent sized fish, the biggest fish that I've caught so far. We're going to select a morning. So yeah, this going to 20 pound plus, we, I think my biggest fish was 28 and a half pound. So when we spawn in on this map, you'll be here at the shop. You might spawn just there, just here. This is where you might spawn in, right here. And there's the shop. What is this thing? Can I purchase anything there? Equip. No. It's just my reel and rod. Hmm. Some food. That looks like a tasty burger. Look at the sides. Them chips. Cool. Oh, pfft. 57.90 for a cheeseburger I don't know I don't know if that's a good deal or not I don't know the way the currency works their difference but yeah you're spawning here the shops there if I pull out the map I show you here it's called Dino Park and then just up here we've got a vehicle which is where we're gonna head to so I'm gonna show you where we're going to I decided to spawn in here so I can drive to the exact location to show you exactly where we're going um, I'm going to show you my rod setup. I'm going to show you the bait, the hook. I'm going to show you everything that I'm using and everywhere where I'm casting to get these fish. Now I have leveled up quite a bit since then. So um, I've been able to unlock some of the better gear. Don't bother trying to catch these fish. The fish that I'm about to catch now. Don't bother trying to catch these fish yourself until you're a high enough level because... Otherwise, it just, it will not work. Um, okay, vehicle. Yeah, you will not be able to ring it, reel it in. It just keeps snapping off time and time again. So, I'd probably say wait until you're at least around about level 30. Before you try going for some of these big fish, because it just will not work. So, as you can see over there, I've got a marker set. If I pull out the map here and go over to here... We can come. We can actually set a marker. So if I press X there, look, we can go to set waypoint or add marker. So if I go to this here and go to set waypoint, there you go. I've now set a waypoint. As you can see, it highlights gold. So we got a little bit of a a little bit of a drive to get there, but. Trust me, it'd be worth it. So it's what we're going to be doing is following this road here. As you can see where it's all highlighted gold. We're going to follow it all the way down. I don't know why it took me over there. But <laughs> we're going to follow it all the way down to here. And then we're going to come up this, this way. Down here, along. And then over to here. We can stop off here. Get a boat across the water. Over to there. So, let's get driving. Again, I could have fast travelled, well, actually it doesn't let you fast travel. I could have drove to that place before making the video. But then some of you guys might struggle on how to get there and you don't know where you're going. So, <clears throat> that's why we're driving. The other good thing about this game, I mean, I've played many, many different types of fishing games. My favourite is Fishing Planet, which we played for over eight and a half years. And we still play that still to this day. That's my favourite fishing game. But I've tried lots of other fishing games. And this is the only one that I would say is coming in second best. Fishing Planet always going to be my number one. Unless something beats it. I'll let you know in the future. But this is definitely the second best fishing game I've ever played. And the only reason why it's the second best and not the first. Is I have put, as I said, eight and a half years I've dedicated my life to Fishing Planet. So for me... That has to be my number one. But this one, although we haven't been playing it too long, I've only had this game for about a month. But core, have I been enjoying it? Yes, I definitely have. Alright, so we're going to pull out the... Oh no, we don't need to pull out the map suit. As you're driving along this road, you'll see a bridge there on the right. When you see that bridge, you know you're not too far off it. We're not going across that bridge. But we know we're not too far away. So this video is probably going to run over 10 minutes just because I do want to catch some decent fish for you in this video. So 
the bridge is on the right, but if we keep driving, there'll be a pathway here on the left, which is right here. You'll see that little sign there which says stop. You'll see this like lamppost thing. And we're going to follow this path. I'll show you where I'm turning off. I'll pull out the map again. So you get, as you can see, we're going to follow this path up here. I like the fact that this is an open world map. I mean, on Fish and Planet, it's an open world map, but you can't drive around in a car like this, and you can't really explore like you can on this one. On Fish and Planet, this one you can explore. So if you like the big open world maps where you can kind of look around and go different places, this one's probably more for you rather than Fish and Planet. Sometimes we show new games, old games, pre-ordered games. If you want to see more Call of the Wild, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop your comments below if you've got any comments. Don't forget to drop a like as well. It's completely free to do that. And you can always share the content out. Anyone who does share it out, I appreciate you. I'm trying my best to get on the grind. You know how it is. We're putting out videos every day. We had a bit of a start there. Yeah, I'm trying my best every day to put out videos. Well, I do put out videos daily. And uh, trying to keep the channel busy as possible. But we also do live stream quite a lot over on TikTok. So if you want to catch us over on TikTok, check us out. We are YT Bubbles Way over on TikTok. No capitals, no spaces. So when we get to this part here, we need to turn off at this bit here that runs down to the boat. So we go forward a little bit. A little bit hard to see this path, but you'll see it's just here. So you'll see that little sign thing there. And we're going to turn right. This does look like a little bit of a mission to get to, but believe me, core is it worth it 100%. Then we come down to here, and then when we get to here, we stop, we get out. Again, it doesn't cost anything for us to get a boat, so we go up to there, press square, hold our finger on square, select whatever boat we want. Little jump, there we go. And then we just walk off the dock onto the boat, puts us on the boat. And then we hold a finger on R2, and we head over here to where we're going to be fishing. You probably could fish off of that dock right there, if I'm honest, but I've always fished over here. Here seems to work well. I haven't fished off that bit of dock yet, so it could work. You can dock your boat by going up near it, but I wouldn't bother because I fell in the water and it reset me right back to where we started off with the vehicle at the very beginning. So I don't do that. So it's what I do is I drive really close up here near the sand, hold my finger on square, and it'll let me exit the boat. Do not fall in the water because it will reset you back to where we just drove from. Is it going to let me go up there? <laughs> it keeps throwing me off. Come on. Come on, game. Work with me. There we go. All right. We're going to catch some big fish. I'm going to show you my rod setup that I'm using. So we go to gear. This is the rod setup that I'm using right here. Again, you can use a weaker rod, but I'm choosing to use this rod. It works better. As you can see, I'm now level 32. If you're level 30, you'll be able to buy this rod and the reel and, and line and everything that you need. So that's why I say don't bother to try catch this until you get to level 30. So this rod is 66.14 pound in strength. And then we set it as a bottom fishing rig we select this rod and then we've got this reel which is max drag 22 pound and then we've got on there the strength line mono line 33 pound line on there we've got a stone weight at 1.98 ounce a five up uh, sorry not five up just a five hook seems to work like gold boilies natural are absolutely amazing here you can also use the dog biscuit so if we press l1 Press X, go to our rod by pressing down on the D-pad, press X, boom, there's our rod in our hand. And then I'm going to hold my finger on L2, press forward and then let go straight away, let go of everything. If we don't do that, it'll do a far cast. We don't want a far cast. When I'm reeling for it to reel a little bit faster, I hold my finger on L2 and hold my finger on R1 and it'll reel it in a bit quicker. Anything around about 40 foot is where I'm doing it. And as you can see here, we're at 39.4. So when when you normally cast, we got a fish on already, boys. Wait for it. 
So when I normally cast, I normally hold my finger on L2, press down on the right analog stick, and then hold up on the right analog stick. And then that gets me 120 foot odd cast, which I don't want that. I want to cast 40 foot. So to cast 40 foot, I hold my finger on L2, and then I just push up on the right analog stick and let go of the analog stick after that, and then let go of the L2 button as well. That seems to work. I've got this reel set to 30%. Let's take it up to 40. Secure catch. Takes a bit longer to bring it in because it's a bigger fish. Let's have a look. £10 for our first one. Not too bad. Decent credits there. 137 credits. So hold L2. Press forward on the right analog stick. And then let go of the analog stick. Let go of the L2. I've got my finger kept on L2, forward, let go of everything, there we go, and then if I hold L2, it reel it in slow, if I hold R1 and L2, it reel it in a bit quicker, and as I say, is all I do is I wait until I get to about 40 foot, like that, then we stop, the pace here of catching these fish, it is pretty quick, we do catch them pretty fast, it doesn't take too long, you can cast here where I am, just beside that bit of wood sticking out of the water, or floating out of the water, should we say there. <laughs> and then we can also catch them on the right, which I'm going to cast to once we brought this one in. Let's wait for it. I heard it ding. As soon as it says strike, we hit R2. Bang. And then hold our finger on L2 to reel. Okay, this one's a bit of a bigger fish, so we're going to take the line tension up to 55. We can really crank that line tension up on this. We've got so much better setup. And you can tell that this is a, a stronger fish because it's taken a long time to reel in. Doesn't reel in as fast as what you normally would. Cool, that is that looks like a good sized fish. Hold our finger on X. Look how long it takes. Cool, we got it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Woohoo! 15 pounds! Nice, that's 160 XP there. Oh, well, credits. I don't know what that was. I think we've got a bonus thing there. Maybe we've got the side mission things on. So if we turn here a little bit to the right, and we hold L2, press down on the left analog stick, and then press forward, and then we let go of pressing pressing up. When, I, when you go forward, forward is your right analog stick. You let go of L2. But I can, I'm going to keep my finger on up on the analog stick, and you'll see what I mean by further cast. So down on the left, on the right analog stick, and then up on the right analog stick, and then release L2. Ready? If I keep my finger on it. We get a full cast. That's 130 foot. Again, we don't really need to cast that far. We can cast at 60 foot here, but I'm just showing you a little bit of a further cast here, and then after. We'll do another short cast. But I am catching fish pretty fast. There you go. Look, as you can hear again, we've got some interest. Bang. We're on. That quick. But the reason why I don't like casting it 120 odd foot, 130 foot out there, is because now, as you can see, it's just taken me a lot longer to reel in. So, for the fact that I can catch them around about 50, 40 odd foot, I cast it 60 foot, reel it into like 40 foot. We're catching fish fast. Even me casting it at 60 foot, I can leave it at 60 foot and we'll still catch fish there. We'll show you that on the next cast. But this is this is a fast way to catch fish. This is probably the quickest XP grind I've ever done on this game so far. XP and credits. We showed a hot spot before on spinning rod, catching some of the small fish between half a pound to five pound which isn't bad if you haven't got a decent rod set up like how I have at the minute check out that other video in our playlist of call of the world the angler that was the video before this one so we get this one in and I'm going to show you what I mean by casting it at 60 foot oh we've got a mirror carp there 10 pounds not very big but beautiful looking fish so hold our finger on our two 
we're going to push up on the right analog stick and then let go of everything. I know I keep on explaining it over and over, but I'm trying to do it for those who have never played this game. When I first played this game, I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't know how to cast properly. I couldn't do anything. But after now of me playing it for a month, I've kind of got the you know I kind of got the hang of it of how to cast properly. So as you can see, we're at 63.7 foot. I could reel it into 40 foot, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it where it is and wait for that ding, ding. As soon as you hear that ding, don't automatically hit strike. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer. And now these boilies do work very well. But as I said, you can also use dog biscuits here as well. And you can do spinning from this location. That also works. Wait for it. I did hear it ding once, dinged again, second time. There it is. Oh, there you go. This one looks a bit better. This one's struggling to reel in. Sometimes you've got to play it a little bit more. So we take the line up to 65. Still running. Okay, 70. There you go, now we're pulling it back a little bit. Oh no, it's trying to run. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it in. There's some fish that we still cannot reel in. But sometimes I think you just got to more... you got to take your time, you gotta, you got to play it a bit more, I think. Oh, there you go. We got it back a little bit then. Stuck at 107. There you go. We got it moving. Be careful on the drag though. You don't want to take it up too much because it will snap off. With some of these bigger fish, I did try to reel them in real fast, but I've noticed that some of them you, you have got to play them a little bit. Some of them you just got to take your time. I mean, if we manage to get this in, this could be my new biggest fish, honestly. This one is fighting incredibly great. So I'm using the right analog stick and turning it to the left to kind of do like striking motions. And as I'm doing that, I'm holding my finger on R2 at the same time to try and strike. Ah, that was so unfortunate there. That would have been a decent fish that. <clears throat> to be cast that time, 46 foot. That's all right. That was such a shame, man. I honestly thought that we could have got that in, but again, having that line tension up to 75% was quite, that was pushing it. That was quite high. Really, I probably should have had it around about 60%. But the thing is, I've played this game, as I said, within the, within the month. Sometimes when you play some of these fish, you play it, play it, play it, and then the line snaps anyway. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. Let's try again, shall we? Next time I won't put the line tension up so high. I only did that because I wanted to try and stop it from running. It was running too much. Okay, well this one definitely doesn't look that big. We did actually do a live stream of this as well. Mirror. Cool, wow. That one is definitely a small one. Four, just over four and a half pound. Yeah, we did do a video on this. Uh, live stream, sorry. On, on YouTube on this one. And um, we called one of them fishing. And the other one, biggest fish that I've caught so far. We uh, clipped the video from a live stream on YouTube and then we uploaded it in our playlist of Call of the Wild, the Angler. So if you want to watch that big fish fight, you could always go back there and check it out. I'm hoping that we manage to catch a fish here around about 20 odd pound, I'm hoping. I mean, if we don't, we don't, but it's more, it's more just luck than anything else. We will eventually end up getting that big fish. The, the best one I've caught so far, you can get bronze, silver and gold. 
and you can also get diamonds. The only one I haven't caught yet, we've caught gold, but I haven't caught diamonds. So by catching diamond, obviously very, very big fish. I'm pretty sure in the future, more videos of this that we're going to be playing. I'm pretty sure eventually we are going to end up finding that diamond fish. And call cool, wow, what a fight that would be. You might even be able to catch it here at this location, you know. It is possible because, as I said, sometimes I still do snap off here. And you guys see that. My line did break. I don't know about this one. I don't think it's... I don't think it's 20 pound. I don't know. Not bad size. Oh, 18 pound. That's not bad. 212 credits as well. Very nice. Mirror carp. I do love catching the mirror carp. They do look really nice. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Boom. And this is what I mean by an XP grind. And by credit grind. Look at that. 10,000 credits. That's the most I've ever had since I've been playing it. 10,000. 10,116. And we've literally just hit level... 33 this is a perfect spot to get those credits a perfect spot to get that xp to help you level up fast you can sit here i mean i've sat stood here at this location for a good two three hours and i do level up quite a few times because i'm catching decent big fish the bigger the fish you catch the more xp the more credits you're going to get so we add one just under 18 pound there. We're going to get one more, no matter what the size is. And then we'll end the video there because I don't want to drag it on and make the video go on longer than necessary. But yeah, there is some definitely, there is some definitely big fish here at this location. And hopefully at some point, maybe I might catch that diamond fish. But before I do, I think I just need to level up a little bit more so I can get stronger line. <clears throat> um... Maybe even a better, stronger rod I might even be able to get. But, yeah, we just need to keep catching over and over and over again. The more we catch these kind of fish, the better it is. So it doesn't really matter if you're casting to the right of that piece of wood there or whether you're casting to the left of it. All around this, this area here, all around this, there's fish everywhere. As I said, I haven't fished yet off of that dock, which I probably am going to give that a go in fact I'll, i will try that and um which we'll, we'll go over there and we'll try that in another video i'll make another video and we'll stand over there and cast and see if we get much interest but here we zoom out a little bit so we drove from the shop here from dino park we come all the way down until we get to there and we followed that up down there and then bang, you can get your boat across. Or as I said, just fish off the dock there. You never know. It might even be better that side. We've got someone over there who's fishing in this bit. I haven't yet fished over in there. So there's still a lot of places on this map that I haven't yet explored. I haven't fished in there. I fished there a little bit. I've fished in here a little bit as well. In there, you get some fish in there. Here we go. This is our last fish. Is it going to be above the 20 pound? Oh, it could be if it don't snap. If we don't snap off, this could be. Well, it's running a little bit, but... I want to take the line tension up a little bit. We'll take up the 70. I don't want to go up too much because I don't want it to break off. As well as getting the line tension right, you've got to play these fish. You can't force them in. That's what I've noticed. I've tried doing that a few times. Just trying to take the drag up and try and force reel. It doesn't work. You've just got to, you've got to play them. And even when it runs like that, sometimes I would tighten up the line tension and bang it and just snap off. I think sometimes you just got to let them run a little bit, you know. Come on. See if we can try and get 20 pound plus for this video at least. 
even if it's 20 pound I'll be happy with that I think this one could be more than 20 pound you know it's not it's not bad it's fighting good let me know in the comments section below if you've played this game let me know what the biggest fish you've caught in this place oh look at the size of that one down there that was a big fish down there oh it got closer than it tried turning around and run off yeah let me know in the comment section what is the biggest fish you caught let me know how big it is and what what type of species it was let me know i'm interested to find out never know that could be the next fish that we catch that oh my god that fish is my fish i didn't realize that i thought that was just a random fish wow this is a decent fish here boys Oh, yes, we got a decent fish here, boys. Come on, please get this one. Come on. Oh, my gosh, look at the size of it. Oh, it's taking so long. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. That's that's good. 26 pound, boom. I wanted to get at least 20 pound for you guys just in this video. But look at that, 26 and a half pound just over. The fish do look really good on the game, I give it that. I mean, the water quality could be a little bit better, but we are on console. So, it being on PC, I'm pretty sure it'd look even better. But that is not bad at all. Look at the score that we got as well. Common Carp Silver. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Keep an eye out for the next video coming very soon. If you want to see more of these only Call of the Wild, the Angler, as I said, check out our playlist of Call of the Wild, the Angler. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you people again soon. Some more fun and games. I am out. Peace.